Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 2nd of June 2023, time for my evening, nighttime uh, Sudoku Puzzle. This is the LA Times hard level game. I played the expert level earlier and if, you, if you're new to this channel you might think well, or new to the LA Times, you might be thinking well surely this is going to be much easier than the expert level game but no uh, we uh, those regulars will know that that is definitely not necessarily the case there have been many times uh, when vice versa when the hard level turns out to be much trickier than the expert level puzzle so um, we shall reserve judgment on that hold judgment on that until later uh, i see a story in the guardian that um, vending machines in Japan, uh, are, or some of in one area in Japan rather, have been designed to automatically offer free food and drinks in the case of an emergency, uh, in the in the case of uh, know, tsunami or 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 a severe storm or something like that where people are flooded in or anything like that. Um, it's going to offer the, 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 you know, it's just going to offer free food and drinks. You just press the buttons and out comes your choice. If you've ever been to Japan, you'll know there are vending machines everywhere. And I was thinking about something. Well, when I first went to Japan in the eighties, uh, I saw, uh, a vending machine selling underwear in cans is true I promise you is true and so I was just thinking what about if you had a personal emergency perhaps perhaps um, the uh, um, vending machine could give you some free underwear if you had a personal emergency you know maybe a bit too much curry Japanese curry um, the night before and desperately needing a pair of underwear who knows uh, anyway, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? But I assume you know how to play the game already, so I won't bother with instructions on how to play the game. Let's just start with the ones blocking across like so, and then we've got sixes blocking like this. So that's what I noticed whilst chatting about vending machines. What else is going on in this block? Um, what are we looking for? Three four and seven so we have the seven down here so that's going to put seven into those squares can we can we i think we can sevens like so that's going to give us a seven up there and how about the threes and the fours no we don't think we know much there do we um Okay, let's have a look at those numbers that we placed just in case there's something else going on with them. Sixes. Yeah, we've got sixes going across here so we can get ourselves a six in that square. Actually, we have four and six and four and six in this column. So going up to the top here, we must have only four or six in these two squares here. Uh, what does it mean? Well, it means the nines are down here. Let's see about the nines. They're going to go there and here and... Uh, okay, so uh, I, I see what it means now. So nine is in one of these squares here. So this can't be a nine, right? this nine blocks this square and this nine blocks those two squares so we can at least place a nine just there and actually we'll go on with those nines like this get ourselves a nine there and back this way now we know this has got to be a nine I think that's as far as we can take it, as far as I see. All nines are going to be left like that. Okay, now back again, in case that I've got more to do here. You never know your luck. Uh, four and six are in these squares. Do I know anything about the one? Uh, I don't think I do. Do I know about the twos? Well, twos have to be in these squares here. What do we know about twos in other locations? Um, 
not really enough to affect anything apart from what I can see up there in those squares. All right, um, what do I know about the fives? Uh, well, okay, I know that right now I'm going to place a five here. And so the five is going to block up here. And since I know that this is six and four, I now know that I can get a five there. So I didn't know it just a few seconds ago, but now I do. And I can see the five blocking down here, five up here, and five blocking there. It's going to put a five into that square. Right, so if this is six and four, what are we left with? One, two, oh, well, of course, the twos now we can sort out, can't we? Two has to go there. Uh, we've also got two blocking across here, where two is in one of these two missing square, empty squares here, I should say, with the twos down here. So that gives two there. Uh, now, if this was six and four, so this would be one and eight. So uh, this would be one and what's the other thing? Can we, can we? Actually, I'm not sure I can do that yet. I thought I saw something here before, but maybe I was dreaming. Uh, okay, so if this is 1 and 8, uh, we'll be left here with 3 and 7. And we can't have the 7 here, can we? So the 7 is going to have to go there. And the 3 must be in that square. Uh, 4 disallows this from becoming a 4, so 4, which we still need for this row, will go there and we will finish here with a 1. 4 blocks all the way to the bottom here, so that gives me a 4 in that square. 4 blocking across these two rows means that that must be a 4. I think I'm going to I'm going to go digit by digit and see uh if I can find anything else quickly. Uh, I see something. Three is one of our missing numbers here, so this square here can't be three, can it? We've got three blocking across here, so we will get ourselves a three. <coughs> Excuse me, we'll get a three in that square there.
Uh, two blocking down here, two up there. There's a two. Missing numbers here are four and eight. Um, and what does that mean? Threes are here. Fives are like that. Okay, we've got five and six blocking up here and we've got three blocking over here like this um, so this these must be three five and six these three squares must contain three five and six and so that means this has to be one and this then will have to be the eight eight blocks across here that gives me an eight in that square there eight down here and across this way gives me an eight in that square and I think this block here I should be able to do a bit more shouldn't I yeah five oh no not five damn what is it I'm sure I saw something here before seven there we go seven blocking down there that would be a seven and we'll be left here two blocks there there's the two and this would be a three and over here we're looking for another seven and this would be a three uh, up to the top that we need a one there a one across here and a one up there so that gives us a one in that square one across these two rows and a one up here means you must be a one then we've got we can finish off digit one like this and across here so that's our first completed digit now one is out of the way <clears throat> let's just go through the numbers and see if we can find any more two blocks up here that gives me the final digit two I better fill in this which is five I think and we've got five across here and five up here as well so we will get our five there. Five up here and up here means that this is a five and then five across these rows will give us a five there, which is the last one. There's one number left oh, down for this row. I think it's a nine. And so nine down here and down here and across there means that this square will be a nine. That's the nines finished as well. One, two, five, and nine are all out of the way now. So, um, what else do we need? We've got four blocking up here, so this has to be a four. Then we've got the four blocking up here, giving us a four there. Four across, four up here means that that is a four. And then four across here and up here means we have got the fours out of the way. There's one more number for this column. I've forgotten what is eight, isn't it? I've remembered again. 8 is there. We also have 8 blocking up there which puts an 8 into that square. Then we can take the 8's across and give ourselves an 8 there. 8 down and across here gives us an 8 in that square there. The last number to place down here is a 3 I believe. Um, we also have 3 blocking this square so we get 3 there. Back that way we get ourselves a 3 there the last number to place here is six I want to say uh, we also have six blocking across here which will put six into that square and we need a six here and here and we can finish off the grid here with seven there and a seven there and that's the end of our hard level game from the Los Angeles Times uh, for Friday well I'll see you over the weekend at some point bye bye